Extra Henry here at the new Meadowlands Stadium where the Jets just won a thrilling game, in my opinion, one of the most amazing Jets victories of all time. The Jets came back for a huge 30 to 27 win over the Houston Texans. And I know the score seems pretty close, but the Jets were up by 16 points at one point in this game in the fourth quarter. They blew that lead. The Texans took the lead 24 to 23. The Jets then turned the ball over. Mark Sanchez was hit through an interception in Jets territory. Houston recovered. They were unable to get a touchdown, forced the Jets to use the rest of their timeouts. They then got a field goal, went up by four points, and the Jets had the ball back with 49 seconds left, and they had to go about 75 yards down the field, and it looked pretty hopeless. But however, what we have seen in the last couple weeks is that this gang green team knows how to step up in the clutch and win the tough games. Mark Sanchez is growing up right before our eyes, and we can see that definitely. Sanchez, brilliant on a drive, the game-winning drive, that is. Found Braylon Edwards streaking down the sideline. Edwards made a tremendous catch, got bumped out of bounds at the 10-yard line, and that set up the play of the game. On the very next play, after the Texans called the timeout, Sanchez dropped back, found Antonio Holmes in the back of the end zone, a perfect pass where only Holmes could catch it. And after that, the team was just ecstatic. Uh, everybody in the stadium was ecstatic. A lot of Jet fans had already left early, but the ones that stayed around definitely got to see something special. And after the game, the players and the coaches knew that indeed this victory that took them to 8-2 and two was surely a special one. There's not too many teams tough enough to handle it, but we are. And this thing, you know, obviously we'd, we'd like to be in a situation where we can, you know, win these games a little, little easier than we have. But again, we keep finding ways to win, and, and that's what championships uh, teams do. And again, if I have to apologize for it every week, from here on out, I will all the way to the Super Bowl. You know, we just uh, we just have a bend but don't break mentality. I mean, you know, we can be put in sticky situations, but at the same at the same time, understand that hey, it doesn't mean that just because we're down, we're out. And uh, I think we've proven that these last couple of weeks, where hey, you know, the game's not over until it's double zero on the clock. Same feeling these last three weeks. Uh, I swear it's like Groundhog's Day, and. Uh, just knowing that we're not out till the final whistle. We'll take the wins. You know, the most important thing is eight and two. Um, but there's obviously mistakes to clean up no matter what. In the two losses and the eight wins, there's mistakes to clean up. And uh, we'll take wins any way we can get them, but we'd like to do it, um, you know, a little easier than this. So Jets fans have to like what they've heard from the players and the head coach Rex Ryan after the game. But if you're a fan of the game green, you have to know that this team can't put you through this again. You don't want to go through the heartache biting the fingernails again at the end of the game. So the Jets have to have a win now where they can put it all together and dominate, and that's what the fans are looking for. Rex Ryan's in the post-game press conference. Ryan talked about the Jets need to shore it up on the defensive end. He called some of the mistakes we saw from the defense allowing Houston back into the game, just simple mental mistakes, and the Jets will look to improve upon that in their next game. Now, improvement comes very quickly this week. A four-day turnaround. The Jets will play Thanksgiving night here at the New Meadowlands Stadium against the Cincinnati Bengals, and they will look to try to put it all together in a complete game on Thursday night. So the Jets will look to turn it around once again and go for their ninth win of the season. The team is 8-2. and two. They've got to feel good about that, and they'll just look to improve and hopefully not give Jets fans too many more heart attacks. So... From the New Meadowlands Stadium, this is Dexter Henry signing off for Backpack Broadcasting. See you guys later.